What's up YouTube? Got another YouTube video for you today. This video is going to be about silver, however silver jewelry, not um, silver bullion or stacking. This is the Miami Cuban Link chain that I got off of Etsy. I don't know, I think it was like literally only two or three days ago. I decided to break down and purchase this chain because I own several um, steel stainless steel chains but i've never actually owned a chain this size that was actually any precious metal and if this had been gold um it would have costed about ten thousand dollars which i ain't about um breaking the bank um to get a piece of fine jewelry i'm perfectly happy with sterling silver because it's affordable and it still has worth and this chain roughly has i think 92 grams which turns into 3.2 ounces I believe, as you can see, very nicely constructed. It is stamped 925 Italy, which I'll bring this closer so you guys can see it. To be honest, I really should have um, maybe had the camera facing towards me when I made this video, but even this little um, lobster claw clasp, I guess is what you could call it, is stamped 925 as well. But I have a jeweler's loop here because you really can't see it. You can see like some little stamping on the claw part. But I'm going to see if I can get this to show up. I can read the 925. I don't know if you can. On video or not. Nah, it doesn't look like you can see that. But it is 925 as well. Now... The thing about sterling silver, guys, is it is not actually 100% um, silver or 999 silver. It is 92. Um, I think five per thousand, so pretty much 90% silver, just like constitutional silver <clears throat> is. But I decided again, guys. Um, I used to have a stainless steel chain that wasn't as nice as this, but it had that, you know. Um, chrome, silver, whatever you want to call it, you know, that metal look to it and wasn't gold. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to break down and get myself a silver chain because that's that stainless steel chain I wound up giving to my sister. That was the same length as this one because she said she really liked it and enjoyed it. So I decided just to give it to her. Now, again, with this one, you do have to be a little bit careful with it. Like you can't run around and you know like let's say you drop it on the pavement or you know stuff like that it is going to scratch and it is going to wear but um these links are do feel kind of i wouldn't say rough but crisp they're not like some um handmade custom ordered from some jewelers which you can do in the united states you can custom order chains like this and they'll do a little bit better of a job um, polishing them to make sure they're smooth up against your skin. Again, these don't dig into your skin. They're, they're not uncomfortable. It's just they're crisp because this is an Italian Cuban link chain. So it's, and it's not, you know, a custom one of a kind piece that you're going to have to pay like $400 for instead of like 175 So that's the reason why that is. But, um, I really don't know that much about jewelry, um, sterling silver especially. I do know you can clean stuff like this in um, baking soda and hot water with aluminum foil, which I've done with an American Silver Eagle that I purposefully tarnished with a um, boiled egg. But again, I enjoy it. Overall, my first impressions are this is a decent chain for the money. Um, is it an investment? Well, I mean, you could consider it an investment that you wear, but for me, it's not an investment because I don't ever plan on selling this because this is my first um, decent-sized chain that I've ever purchased of precious metal, so I'm most likely always going to have this and not give it away. But um, anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. Um, if you liked the video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Anything you do helps, and I will see you in the next video.